Good morning, sheep fans. <laughs> Today we are sharing with the Duffin family, and I say it is still good morning. Tammy did us a good good morning there. It is still morning, even though. That's James there with the hair. Some of you may or may not recognise it. Some of you might think you know James Shinnan, but you don't know that guy. But it is James Shinnan. I'm going to do a, a whole vlog and then I seen the sheep and I got a bit excited and we were getting into them in 50 odd an hour and really going hard. Then Tammy started twisting my arm saying, why am I not getting on the vlog? And I said, oh, sorry, I'll get the camera and now we're vlogging again. We've got four 70 I believe here. James is capable. You might think of Cammy. How come you're sharing with a different guy every day? Well, my inbox is just inundated with boys. Cammy, can I come out for a day? And the latest one was James. He phoned me up, says, Cammy, can I come out for a day, share me? I says, James, come on. Come on, I'll take him on. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the boys. I'll take him on. Get to the boys. Take him under my wing. So, we'll set it up, get a wee bit of time lapse. I've now got all this like, new library footage music that I can use. So, I'll just do loads of time lapses and we'll stick it up. Mainly because Tammy wants to see herself working, she said. So I'll stick it up here in the corner and you'll get a shoot down the shed and see what's working. Let's go. That wee tough's good because then you'll remember that was the one you did. Because <laughs> there certainly wasn't any of mine with tough <laughs> Bring this foot in between there. Mm -hmm. right, bring, bring it right on. That's it. Kick it right under. In tight. That's it. That's it. Now keep coming. Clear this off. Yep. Use that left hand to like do the skin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Take down when you're going down that way, I'll catch you on your ankles. I'm not bad at that. Yeah. Pull your cord. Yeah. I'll let your sheep go. Yeah. That's a good job, very good job. 
you got to say. No, look, don't look at Lizzie. You've got to say. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. I can't say that. It's too. I can't say that. I can't say that. It sounds hellish. But anyway, this is this is Regan, my nephew, and that's Wilson, my nephew. I just had to get this. Bye. Bye. No, we just started. We just started. Anyway, it is day 35 of the 60-day effort for 10,000 sheep. It's been wet for three days in a row. I've not shown a sheep in two days. No, that's a lie. I didn't shear a sheep yesterday, and I'm not gonna. <laughs> Tatty Scone is the new thing Catherine's been teaching him. I'll deal with that later. So I'm not sure a sheep yesterday and I'm not sure a sheep. Tatty Scone! Yes, I get it. And I'm not sure a sheep today and it's unlikely I will because it's wet in between the showers. So we're going to go and get the sheep in and we'll run the lambs through the week. Right? I don't usually do that until the shearing's finished. But two wet days and Monday's my selling day, so tomorrow's a Monday. So I thought, good opportunity, there's a the heavy rain coming back on again. So good opportunity, get the lambs in, run them through, trade's quite high just now, it's all negativity for the sheep just now, everyone's saying all oh, the wool price is down 20 pence, uh, sorry, down more than 20 pence in some cases, people getting 5 cents in that in Ireland I saw, but I'm Mr Positivity, lamb price is up 20 pence a kilo on the year, so you get a lot more kilos of meat in a, a sheep than you do wool, so Got to take the ups with the downs. So we're going to get the lambs in, run them through the bakery, see if we can't get some lambs to go to market. I'm not that hopeful. Didn't start lambing until about the 8th or 9th of April. And I never usually draw lambs until about August, if I'm perfectly honest. I just take what I get, but let's see what's happening. So I should probably show you the total as well. It's still sitting the same as the last one, which is whatever I'm putting up on the screen just now, I'm actually not sure off the top of my head. I haven't even videoed, videoed? I haven't even edited the last video yet. Can you go over there? Up, up. Some last. Alright. <laughs> Sky. Make we... Shh. Sky! Hello Sky! Oh, Sky. Sky, sky, sky. Where are you going? Like a good Scottish Mother's Day. But it's the 5th of July. So really it's just a Scottish Summer's Day. And it's a perfect opportunity for me to get some lambs in because why well, don't? When you're shearing you just don't get time. As I said, I usually don't do any lambs until August. Until the shearing starts to ease off. But we've had this opportunity today with it being a bit wet. Three days in a bounce now. We've got this opportunity to get them in and we'll have a look and it might be interesting, it might not be. If you're watching, please click the subscribe button. Uh, my YouTube tells me there's like 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so there's a good opportunity there to maybe catch somebody and ask you to subscribe to the channel. It's great for me, big motivation for when I keep seeing the numbers going up all the time, it's big motivation to keep putting vid videos. And also all the comments are fantastic as well. I try to reply to every comment if I can. So please take a second. It might take more than a second, of course. But take time, leave a comment. It's interesting to hear where you're from, what kind of farming you're doing, whether you agree with what I'm doing or you disagree. I don't mind. I'm not on here preaching that I know everything about sheep, because far from it, I know very little. I'm just trying to do things as best I can as I go. If I don't know something, I ask someone who knows more than me and try and keep the job right, which is what you should always do. If you're not sure, ask someone for help. Because there's no point trying to wing it at this game. It's probably not going to be fair on the stock. And it makes life hard for yourself. And I can't really get across there to see what's going on. Because that wee burn, or stream as you might call it, is running pretty fast, as are the cattle now which is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Hopefully the dogs stay well clear. Let's see what's happening. Always good when the cows head straight to the gate and into the sheep pen. I've ordered a new microphone because this one isn't working so great in the wind. 
and I live on in Scotland, so I need a microphone that works in the wind because we get plenty success. We have the cattle here and two went to the gate, not over the fence thankfully this time and the sheep are in the pen at the top here so let's get them in. There's not very many big lambs I wouldn't say but we'll have a look. Need to go through the foot bath anyway so not a pointless trip. <laughs> Okay, so we have borrowed a nice shiny set of scales here. We're not wearing this boy, he's just pulled out because I want him separate from the ewes. I've pulled maybe 15 lambs that could potentially be about the 42 kilo and over mark. The heavier the better at the moment, it changes all the time with, with the sheep game, but at the moment they're looking for heavy lambs. So we'll run them through, see if we get anything. I said about being an optimistic farmer, now being the pessimistic farmer, I don't think there'll be many out of the way. <laughs> okay, so a bit of a waste of time, got like three lambs at the 45 kilo mark, so not going anywhere with three lambs, we'll just let them run on. Few between that 35 and 42 mark, but nah, nah, need a lot more time. So now we are, oh no. I was just about to tell you that I'm gonna scrape the water out of this foot bath. The handle's all wet, but this, this is just water, rain water. So there's been so much rain, these water baths, water baths, foot baths, have filled right up. So I'll Squeeze some water out of here, and what happens is the sheep run through this one. This cleans our feet off nice, and then the formalins in that one. You could formalin both, excessive. I'll formalin that one. Clean feet, formalin onto a hard standing. Let's it. Let's say dry in, but it's just about to come really heavy rain, so let's hurry up. Now how do you how do you measure the formalin, Lizzie? One part formalin to 19 parts water, roughly. How much water is in here, Cammy? This is this is 19 parts. That's the 19. And that's parts. one part. So that's the whole one part. No, 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 just ha half of that. Drama. So much drama here just to run some sheep through a footbath. The gate was left open and they ran into the garden. So now we need to chase them out. Good wee bite in here though. Thanks for the lot. Maybe that's what I need to do to finish the lambs. Let's just leave them in the garden. <laughs> leave them in the garden for a couple of days. I like those hedges. I love, love a bite of the hedge. And she is wet. She is wet now. Come on, we lamb. You're, you're not getting much milk. Even better now they've run down the road. We, 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 we. Not bad. She's never had a, a train day in a puff. That was not bad. Don't know where Meg is. Lightning! 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 We, 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 
some laugh. Some laugh. So anyway, my battery's gonna die, so I'm just gonna wrap up here. I don't know. Hopefully that's enough for a vlog. It's a very uninspiring one after such so many good shearing ones, but it's something else, eh? Bit of banter. We don't get we don't get stressed. Too blessed to be stressed, as they say when you're in the sheep game. Cheers folks.